It's one week since Becky and Joe drank the doubly labeled water designed to specifically monitor every calorie they consume and burn. Now the scientists will be able to figure out exactly what they've been up to. First, the water reveals that both girls are engaging in similar amounts of exercise. Then it's not much. So Becky isn't skinny because she's exerting herself more than Joe. But on the diet front, nutritionist Claire McEvely has some surprising information. So what the results have shown us is, first of all, you're 10 kilos underweight and you're 10 kilos overweight. There's absolutely no difference in your metabolism. That's the best of my name. This whole idea of the fact that you have different metabolisms, there's no truth in it. But if there's no difference in their metabolism, why is Joe so much heavier? What we know is that you are eating about 50% more than Becky. So the real reason there's a big difference in their weights is relatively straightforward. You're eating more than you need, and you're eating less than you need. Simple as that. Right. Okay. Mm. That's the point, isn't it? Yeah. I would probably think that, yeah, maybe I do eat a little bit too much for my size because I'm only short. I feel quite surprised about the results because it seems like I do eat a lot more than Joe, but obviously, clearly, I don't. While genes are important in determining a person's susceptibility to weight gain, it's more likely that if you're overweight, you've taken in more energy and food than your body has used. The excess calories have been stockpiled as fat. If calories in exceeds calories out, most people will put on weight. So it's probably not your metabolism. If you're overweight, you're most likely just eating too much. Of course, it goes without saying that every body is different in lots of ways. Our height, our shape. In fact, many of us are genetically predisposed to certain body types and put on muscle or lose weight differently when we exercise. But don't let this idea of genetics or metabolism be an excuse. Sure. Some folks suffer from actual metabolic disorders, but they're not the norm. The key is to make your metabolism work in your favor. Resistance exercises like lifting weights build muscle. And the greater your muscle mass, the higher your metabolic rate. So the bottom line, if you keep blaming these genes, you'll most likely never get into these genes. John and Leslie have to find new ways of eating so they consume fewer calories. 